Hey, I'm just going to do a real quick video right now showing how to refactor your source code tree in Xcode. I remember the first time I discovered this, and it's only a small thing, but uh, getting it right can be a little bit of a hassle. So the basic problem comes when you've been working on your code for some time and it kind of gets in a big mess. Here, for example, I have uh, two targets in this project, uh, a game itself and the uh, game editor, and they're sharing source code in different directories. And it finally got to the point where I had a lot of um, craft lying around and I needed to actually get it sorted into individual folders. The thing that makes it a little bit more difficult is Xcode has this concept of groups. So, for example, uh, I've created a group here called Game Data. Um, it's a grouping of uh, folders. I can create a new group at any time. But this group is not uh, necessarily in di direct correspondence to an actual folder on the file system. And this is what makes it kind of tricky to actually make sense out of, because the first thing about that is uh, it's not going to show up in your source control system. So if you're using Git or SVN to uh, manage all of your source control and commit it to a remote repository, uh, these folders, uh, and I say that in inverted quotes, these groupings, they are not going to show up uh, necessarily. However, you can match them up to a folder. So how I've done that, in fact, here I have the finder. And uh, what I've gone and done is uh, inside my project directory, I have my, my game and um, my <coughs> game editor here. And I've created this game data folder uh, to manage all of the core data uh, elements of my game. I've got my model in here. Uh, I've got the um, model classes that are going to handle all of the core data um, managed objects. And uh, I wanted to put them all inside of this uh, game data folder. However, having done that, I've created the folder and um, moved those uh, actual source files in there. Uh, what we then have is this issue that uh, the files are not then known to Xcode. Now, Xcode stores all of our files uh, inside a uh, XML listing inside of our project file. So it's got its own separate concept of where these files are on the file system, and what they're for. Uh, for example, this file here uh, is known to be back here in my old game data folder. Um, Whereas uh, this one, uh, it's uh, still thought to be in a different folder, which has now been deleted uh, whilst I've been refactoring. So that's why it's showing up in red. Now these black ones, I've already gone ahead and um, actually refactored them and, and set them up so that Xcode can find them again. And of course, under the hood, what that's doing is setting the correct value for all of these file system paths. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like real quick inside of uh, Xcode itself. So here, for example, uh, we've got a file that um, is part of the user interface. Uh, so really what I wanted um, with that is, is to have it up here inside of my user interface section. So uh, it's been moved up there, but um, it doesn't map to where it actually is on the file system. So what I have to do is click on uh, this little button here. It doesn't look like a button, but that's what it is. And that's going to allow me to actually re uh, locate on the file system where that folder and its uh, actual file is. Uh, so it is inside of, let's see. inside of here. 
So I choose that as the location. And now you can see that it's actually updated the icon and I now um, uh, have that file located for Xcode. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead, I've done the same thing here for all of these various resources. So for example, in this case, I have a, an icon and I need to um, set the path for that, which is inside of this resources folder. And again, uh, it locates the file for me and it's uh, able to bring up a little um, preview of it. So now I would uh, go ahead and repeat that process for all of the rest of the files that I've refactored. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and check it all into source control again. Okay, I, uh, that's all there is to it. I hope that helped. Okay, bye.